Hi everyone, this is Lisa from Canine Clips, and this is Pele, and Pele is a Havanese breed, and he's come in for a full groom today, and I'll be using a three-quarter inch blade on him, keeping him, giving him some length, and uh, cleaning him up today. So, um, I hope you enjoy the video. If you do, please subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate that, and you can check out my channel and see other videos that I have posted as well. And, uh... Hopefully you'll enjoy them as well. So we're just going to get started on the face here so the poor guy can see. Quite got a little bit of overgrowth there on the face, which is quite common on all the breeds. They seem to grow there fastest and first so that they can't see where they're going. There you go, buddy. When I do hold his face, I'm making sure I don't put any pressure on the throat at all. I'm just holding him up or I hold him by the back jawline there. Um, but I don't want to put any pressure on the throat to affect their breathing at all. It's okay. I'm just going to round up the face a little bit. Trimming those ears a bit. Okay, got a bit of hair in there. So it's probably a little bit sensitive, which it is when I touch it. So when that hair gets long in the ear, sometimes it gets a little irritating for them. So then they start scratching their ears a little bit more. It's okay, buddy. Okay, come on. Right, that's gonna do under his eyes. Got a little bit of tearing. And of course, I'm keeping his body a little bit longer. So of course, we're gonna have the face a little bit longer to match. So I don't want to take too much off the face. And I can always come back and take a little bit more if I need, but you always want to err on the side of caution so that it blends nice. I'm just going to see. That's what I thought. There's just a little bit of matting <laughs> in his muzzle. I'm just going to try to get that out. Just right at the tip here. And that's probably where, of course, he eats and the food gets stuck on there. And that's quite common of an area to have some matting. So just right here at the mustache and on this side as well. I'm just going to try to thin that out a little bit so that I can comb it out so that we can keep that length. It's okay. Okay. Okay, come on. <laughs> just a little bit resistant. There we go. So there's one of them. There's one more. I know. And of course it is an area that pulls. So they're not too fond of me combing there. Come on. Hey, hey. There you go. Oh, this one wasn't as bad. All right, so there. So just a couple of little mats in that area. <laughs> Not that perfect. Okay, I'm just going to check the chin because that's another area. Since we got the matting in those two areas, usually the chin is another one. And it does have one. So I just get under that, hopefully. There we go. Yep. And this has a little bit in there.
Perfect. Okay, so we got all that out as well. Then we're able to keep the legs for him. And get those mats out. So I'll just take a little bit of the tips off. Okay, so that's nice and rounded, and I just want to layer that a little bit here. Okay, so now actually I'm going to start on the feet. Okay, I'll trim under the hair under this side under his ears. I don't think I did this side. I did the other side. Oh yeah, it's quite full. I like the other side as well. It's okay. Good boy. And let's see. Did I do that side? Yep. Let me just get a little closer. We'll come back and pluck that later. Okay boy. Time for your feet. So again, we're doing a three quarter inch length on the body. So I'm going to be, when I do uh, trim the feet up, I'm going to make sure I don't trim too uh, much on the top of the feet. Otherwise it won't blend that nice. When the feet are really short, it doesn't look natural. But some people do trim the feet shorter for the reason of less, uh, Less stuff to stick to it, and the dog isn't tracking as much inside the house when they come out from their or come in from their ventures outside. Just making sure I layer up the feet here. So it's nice and clean, but not too short. Okay, then we'll do the nails. Okay, oh, one more. One more, one more, one more. There you go. Good boy. All right, so one paw done. Wait, Pele, and he's about 19 to 19 and a half pounds. He's very fluffy, but he is a little bit uh, bigger of a dog. He's what I call my medium-sized dog. And had lots of energy touring around the place. So I wasn't sure how he'd do on the table, but he stays quite nicely, as you can see. So this is his first time being groomed with me. Oh, hold on. So for a first timer, he's doing really good. Obviously, he's used to being groomed. But he had so much energy um, when his owner dropped off. I thought he'd have that energy on the table as well. So it's a nice surprise that he's pretty calm on here. Okay. A little bit sensitive on the feet, which again is not uncommon. Just when I touch, he kind of pulls away a little bit. Oops, wrong one. Okay. Oh, oh. Right, two more. Good boy. 
You got really, really thick nails, but they are nice, healthy, healthy length. There you go. Okay, so two done. Two to go, bud. Yeah, I know. Okay, we'll get the other one. Okay, I know. That's okay, I know. Sometimes when the nails get uh, too long, their feet can get a little sore, and you can uh, tell if they're too long, the dogs will start chewing at their feet. There you go. So that's one indicator that the nails are too long. Your puppy's chewing their feet. They're just trying to give themselves a little trim. Yeah, I'm just going to turn you a little bit, buddy. There you go. Okay. Don't need to see me, I don't think. Pretty sure that's not what you're wanting to see. All right, last foot here. And once we're done that, then I'm gonna comb out the ears and the tail and get out any mats if there are any and kind of give them a quick little trim. And then we'll be ready for the bath. And blow dry, of course. And then once we're done that, then I will um, cut the body. Almost done, this part, buddy. Good boy. Okay. I know, I still gotta trim it. I'm gonna do the nails. Come on. Hey, hey, <laughs> come on. They're too quick. All right, come on, just the last one. Let's just get the last one done. Come on, up, 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 up. Ah, oh, you're a stinker. Come on. No, <laughs> come on. Okay. There's nowhere to go. Okay, I'm just 
going to work with you then. I'm sorry, got to get done. There you go, good boy. Oh yeah, and I still have to pluck the ears out too. Okay, so this ear has a few mats in it. But not too thick. Just right at the top here, this one's kind of thick. Actually, that's going to come out anyways. But I do need to get the mat out if I can because if we're going with a three quarter inch blade that uh, it will not be able to get underneath that. So I am going to take that out. Try to thin it out so it keeps um, the bulk of the hair. But we also get the mat out. There we go. So it was a pretty big mat right there. But thankfully we have thinning shears. That helps with all that. And we're going to keep his ears and tail longer. I'll just kind of trim them up. And always trim them once the owner comes, but it sure is hard to put the hair back on. You can tell they've been growing them out for a long time as they're a nice long length and very healthy. Just that little mat there, but nothing too major. Okay, so now I'm going to pluck out his ears just with regular tweezers I use, but good tweezers. Oh, there's a little bit of hair on the outside. So you always don't want to pluck the outside of the ear canal because that will hurt. It's a different type of fur out there. I'll see if I can get closer for you. You only want to pluck the hair on the inside. And there is quite a bit for him. Okay, and I think I got all this hair. It actually came out quite easily. There was quite a bit in the air that grow. Okay, so now I'm going to do the other side. I'll actually pluck first since he's staying here so nice. And then I'll comb out this side. seem to mind this process and when there's that much hair in the ear sometimes that can just irritate it and make it a little itchy for the dog um, because it kind of tickles and then that gives something for the wax to stick to and uh, that hair can grow down into the ear canal when it gets a little bit heavier so there's some mat in exactly the same spot as on the other side so it's just right behind the ear there We'll use the uh, thinning shears again. I always use my thumb as a guide to make sure I know where that skin is because when you do pull this up, the skin does come up with it and it's quite loose. So it's not very hard to accidentally um, use those thinning shears on there. So you'll have to be very careful because the mats are very thick. So you apply quite a bit of pressure. So you just got to make sure you don't have any skin in there when you go because they will cut.
And thankfully the dog will let you know, but those scissors are sharp for a reason. All right, so there's that mat. And we got that bay, got that one out. And so I'm gonna comb this ear out. I'm actually gonna trim them after the bath rather than trimming them then now and later just because I can want to keep the length but we want to get it cleaned up so we can do that after the bath but I mean I like to comb it all out before because it is a lot harder if there are mats to get them out if the hair is damp and we'll do the same with the tail just because uh, they do like to keep it longer as well All right, good boy. Okay, so we are ready to have a bath, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna take them to the tub. Okay. All right, we got them all scrubbed up here. Give them a good rinse. Just be careful never to get the, you know, direct direct water flow into the dog's ear. And let them shake as much as they need to because you don't want to get any water in the ear canal directly. That's why I use the ear solution at the end to dry any moisture that may have gotten into there. Okay, stand up, buddy. You really want to make sure you get all that soap out as well. Otherwise, it'll make them itchy. The water at the bottom is nice and clear, and there's no soap in it. Then I just know I kind of got it all. There we go. Okay, I done. I done, 
Family. Wrap time, anyways. Okay. You're so calm for me in the tub. And anywhere. I'm quite, uh, quite surprised. Like I said, he was pretty excited. And curious little guy touring around while we were filling out the paperwork for him. Okay. There we go. The stand is having a mind of its own. Okay. He's just hiding out here in the towel. dry on him. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Here we go with the glass.
a good boy. With his big poofy body and his little head. <laughs> from it. From his earmuffs. There, there. Ah, good boy. Okay. So now I'm going to start with the three quarter inch blade. It is the longest blade. So this blade is can be used when you have no mess, which I don't believe he does. He's got some nice fluffy fur, just a little bit behind the ears, but other than that, it didn't uh, come across any. Oh, I think I found another one right behind the ear again, but I can come back to that. We'll see if there's any in the body that I find. Once I do this, Turn you sideways, buddy. No, oh, he doesn't want to. Good boy. He's got a little bit of matting right around where he pees, which is quite normal um, and common. So I will be using a shorter blade in that area. Now he's just got a little bit of matting coming out here in the legs as well. So we'll see if we can get under them with this. So if you can see there's a little bit of clumping there. I think it'll go under it. And sometimes I just use my fingers to pull out. See right there I won't be able to, so I'll use the scissors. Um, and usually inside the legs I do go a little bit shorter as well. And that just helps as the fur grows out um, to prevent any mats from coming. And it still gives the, you know, the illusion of the nice long leg if the outside is done nice and long. So like, we do have a few mats there as well. So again, I'll just kind of pull them out with my fingers and hopefully the blade will kind of get under them there. And then I can always finish up with the scissors. Because it is a tight corner in there with the leg bends. So I try to get as close as I can. But yeah, there's quite a bit of mats in there. Which again is quite common for that area. Oh, there we go. We were able to get under them, so I'm just going to leave that and I'll come back to that um, probably with the three, three and three quarter inch blade um, or the five to get under those. In his back armpit there, so again I'll come back to that. Don't want to do any extra tugging if I don't have to. Okay, I'm just gonna move him back here, and I'm gonna raise up the table for me. Camera for you. Good boy. I'm just gonna see in here where that mat is. It's right here. I'm just gonna take that out so I can use the clippers to get this done. Okay. 
Okay. That's quite common behind the ears for the mats to be hiding. The one there. I think I can comb out the rest. Yep. All right, perfect. All right, so we'll start with the clippers kind of in that area. Come down. This one has a little bit of mats as well. Oh, they are getting under them. But at the back, come here, bud. At the back here, um, it's still matted. So I'm going to use the thinning shears to get these two out. Just because they're more in the front where you can see. So I do want it to blend nicely. I don't want a, a real short spot. So I can kind of comb out the mat there. And then I'm just going to scissor cut that off. So I don't have to keep pulling at the fur. And it kind of pulls the mat out a bit. So I don't have to go close to the body to trim it off. Same with this one here. And we'll get it off without too much tugging. There you go, bud. Okay, so we'll see what's on the inside here. I'm just going to use the scissors in there because the clipper blade's really big and bulky. few mats there, but they're really not tight to the skin at all, so I'm able to kind of just get them out a little bit with this um, comb, and then cut them out, which is nice. Okay, let's see under your armpit. Yeah, and he does have some mats under his armpit, so I'm going to use a number five for that to get underneath those. That's another very common area for the mats to be. And they're actually quite thick, so I'm going to switch to a number five instead to get underneath those. There you go. You always got to be careful because there's that loose skin under the armpit. So I like to go in small strokes just to get underneath those mats. There we go. And since I got this out, I'm going to do the back leg as well, get those mats out. And of course, since he's staying so nice for me, I'm all going to work on the same side. Just the parcel getting delivered. Okay, we're going to go to the other side, bud. Alright, so I'm going to continue on. 
with the three quarter inch blade. get under this chest area. Good boy. There's a little bit of matting right here. But it does come out, fortunately, so it's not very deep. Which is good. Just good timing for the owner to bring them in. Another couple weeks and those mats might have gone more closer to the skin. And then uh, I usually just have to do uh, one inch or one blade shorter to get underneath them. So just in time. Okay, I've got that chin. A little bit of matting behind this leg as well. I'm just going to try to pull it out a little bit and then I'm going to use the scissors so I don't have to tug too much. Oh, God, bud. Let's see if that can get behind it or under it, I guess. And try to comb it out. See if I've got it all there. Still one there. But by uh, cutting some of it out, then I'm able to kind of separate it a little bit. It's not as bad. Okay. And right in his armpit here, it's quite mad. 
added. So I'll use that number seven again to get under there to match the other side. Okay. There you go. I think we got no, let's see there's one right there on the toe. Okay. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna get the number seven. Get underneath that uh, armpit mat. Back and forth. Just all depends how the fur is. Switch sides with the camera. Hopefully, you'll be able to see a little better. Okay, sorry. There we go. <laughs> I have a window at the back here, so he's checking out the scenery, I think. What's up there? A little bit of matting again here. I'm just seeing if I can slowly work my way out of it. I know you're looking outside there, bud. Okay. You can see there's a little bit of a bigger mat there. So I just thinned it out. I'll see if I can get that one out. I know. Good boy. Okay, there we go. A little bit of a big one there. And just right here, there's another one. I'm going to pull it out. There, so the mat's now at the end, so I'm just going to kind of cut that out. Just try to keep the length all even in here. But sometimes the mats do dictate what length I have to go. 
and what the end result of the cut will be. So I try to blend it as best I can, but um, I can only do what the mats will allow me to. And of course it does take a little bit longer than cutting under them, but since the majority of his body was was good, I don't mind doing this. So it's when they come in really matted that I would just opt to go for the lower blade. And he's not in any discomfort as well. So that's why I don't mind working with him here. All depends where those mats are and how stressed the dog is. Okay, so there we go. So I am going to just scissor cut here. Then I'm going to use the number seven blade to go underneath there. Oops, see a fly away. And then uh, we'll see where we're at. Got all that hair in there. I'm just going to scissor cut under. Just make sure I'm not grabbing anything with the scissors. There we go. Just kind of blend it together. So I kind of layer it outwards. Get that nice and clean under there. And I'm going to go underneath the belly. Oops, sorry. Camera. Can't go over here, but. Just kind of want it to blend and keep that area nice and clean so stuff doesn't stick in there all right so i think i'm done this uh this one for now so i'm gonna clear off the table and give him a little blow dry again and then uh see where we're at and i'll just do the finishing touches on his groom okay bud
Okay, so now I do a quick little uh, once over. I'll use the scissors to kind of get all the wispies where the clipper blades won't be able to go. And blend anything that I can. Okay, so I'm going to get out the three quarter inch blade again. And this should just, it'll still take off quite a bit in some areas. It all depends on how it was laying. Just a little bit so far, coming off. And he's got quite a bit of curl in his hair, so. And have lots of varying lengths that blend in together. Okay, so now I'm just going to, around the shoulders, I always find the three-quarter inch blade has a difficult time of getting in there, so I always got to kind of finish up with the scissors in there, and I still got to finish up the face again to make sure that kind of blends with the length in the head there. <laughs> I'll carve that out to see how... What we're dealing with here. Now we do have a little bit of length there, so we'll take that off. Good boy. I'll take a little bit off of there. And I always get the owner to check out the, when they pick up their dog, get them to give a quick once over and see if they want anything shorter. So I do err on the side of caution. I'll kind of leave things longer. I can always trim it up when they come and pick them up. So Sometimes they come in and want the ears a little shorter or around the eyes or muzzle a little shorter so i'll do that for them 
It's a lot easier to do it then than cut it too short. Oh, I always kind of leave a little bit extra if that's what I think they want. Especially on their first time being groomed. We don't I want to make sure that they're happy with the cut. And there we go. Those ears are still nice. We'll just take a little bit off just to get those little ends nice and even. Yes, I do. And where are you going? Just right there. Okay, I think we're all done here. I'll just keep um, going over him to see if there's anything else I may have missed. I'll put the ear solution in and then I give him a good uh, teeth brush. And then we're all done and ready for him to get picked up. So thanks for taking the time to watch. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you'll subscribe and uh, keep watching my videos. And I also hope you have a great day. So take care and we'll talk again soon. Bye-bye.